What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about several different topics in this video here again today. We'll be talking about Jeepers Creepers Are Born. We'll be talking about Scream 6. We'll be talking about Halloween Ends. And then we'll close it out with The Nun 2. So just to kick it off with Scream 6, Clips has shared some new potential Scream 6 details over on Twitter. Uh, when asked about the amount of chase scenes and ghost face of behavior in, in Scream 6, they said it depends on what you consider a chase scene. They said that I consider more than just Ghostface running at someone for 10 seconds. So I guess that's what they consider to be a chase scene. They said this is on the higher end though. There's not really many pop out of nowhere kills. There's a stalking element and obstacles in a good amount. And then also when asked about a uniqueness to Ghostface behavior this time around, they said like how Amber was frenzied in her in her style. In this scream, there's a couple things Ghostface does unlike any prior Ghostface. Not goofy or anything. It actually makes sense when something happens. They said that's vague. They know I just have to avoid names and genders. So Ghostface stalking people is what I'm anxious to see, honestly. Any behaviors that make the killers seem more intimidating are always welcome. My whole thing here is that I know some people, me included, thought that the absence of chase scenes in Scream 5 was a little bit, you know, just disheartening because of the fact that it had been so long since we got a Scream movie and then we finally get one and we don't have any chase scenes. So in Scream 6, I hope that it delivers in, in the sense that we get some memorable chase sequences. It doesn't have to be several. I would say maybe at least, even if it's just two, if it's three, that's fine. I would just want to at least have one or two chase scenes, something that can help build suspense. And of course, just make you feel some type of way about the character involved in set chasing. If they have, of course, done a good job at putting in some character development into Scream 6. Because I know coming into Scream 6, if it's focusing on Tara's friends a lot more, they have a lot of room to play with there when it relates to getting you more invested and maybe letting us know a little bit more about them since we didn't really spend too much time with them in 5. But we spent just enough and they shined in those moments to the point where, okay, I'm invested in them. I care about them. And of course, it helps when you have talented actors bringing the characters to life despite their minimal amount of screen time. So jumping into something else related to Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Jeepers Creepers Reborn has made over $2.8 million worldwide and it's right on the cusp or the edge of $3 million. So I don't think that this means that, of course, they are going to announce Jeepers Creepers 5. If anything, if Jeepers Creepers 5 happens, I don't, I don't want to say that it'll go under the radar, but don't be shocked if it does. In the sense that don't be shocked if it's produced and shot even if it's with Jonathan Breck and several others back, don't be surprised if it goes under the radar. Now, of course, how can it go under the radar if they're filming out in the open? But I'm just saying, don't be shocked if the news of a fifth movie came in the form of, hey, we came across this location out here and they're shooting Jeepers Creepers 5. Like, I don't think it's going to be some big grand old announcement because, of course, backlash that could come. Jeepers Creepers 4 has also managed to score a phenomenal 0% on Ryan Tomatoes. <laughs> now, it's only out of like less than 10 approved critics, but still a 0%, that's not an easy thing to achieve. So congratulations to everyone involved. Uh, you are indeed the worst pile of filth to be released this year, no doubt. Because Jeepers Creepers Reborn, that is a terrible movie. No updates I have. I don't have any updates on the court case. The hearing for the September date did happen as far as I can tell, but the site hasn't put out any updates to reflect that. It's also, this movie is also now like available to purchase or rent on Amazon, YouTube. Why anyone would want to endure this once again? I don't know why anyone would want to add this to their collection. I don't know. That's beyond me. But on Thursday, I will have another humorous video up discussing what is wrong with this movie. So as far as I can see, Jeepers Creepers was ultimately killed when Jeepers Creepers 3 got kicked out of Canada in 2015 because Francis Ford Coppola at one point was supposed to be producing it. He had nothing to do with it in the end, which definitely probably cut their budget in half. Salva dug the hole with Jeepers Creepers 3 and then he placed him and his sickening BS in there with it. And then Jeepers Creepers 4 just covered it with piss and dirt com combined. Uh, jumping into Halloween Ends, Halloween Ends has released some new images of Michael, Lori, Corey, and a featurette of Jamie Lee once again getting emotional over exiting the series. One image in particular might be Michael killing a cop. All we know is that at some point in this movie, without question, Michael or Corey must come together to kill a cop. And that's, that's just something that seems to be 
a safe assumption to make based off of the track listing that mentions kill the cop or something like that from the official track list so we're going off of that and other assumptions based off the footage that continues to be released along with other plot details the cop is definitely going to be killed for causing problems with either michael or michael's new little brother Corey cunningham the problem that the cop causes is most likely related to Corey, probably someone in town who is giving this man a hard time so michael or Corey decide to take him out now i hope this film actually ends up being received better than kills because i was told that i can't even share my review to the day of release basically beyond fest is supposed to have some sort of premiere next week so it'll be interesting to see what reactions appear online a lot of this movie could be received negatively depending on how Corey's story is handled but the featurette that they had out there with jamie lee curtis getting emotional about laurie strode's final bow out in the series was very emotional very touching and it's just nice to see that she actually is going to be closing out her chapter with this series on a high note unlike with that nasty movie from 2002 so just to jump into the last bit of news the nun 2 the nun 2 will indeed now see the return of tysa farmiga it's been confirmed according to deadline she will reprise her role as sister irene and she joins we know storm reed who will star as the lead of the film uh Again, no confirmations are out there on the exact story setting, but it's still apparently set in the 50s, like 1956, I believe, and will probably take place at a school based on the audition tapes or not audition tapes, but details from earlier this year. I'm expecting the character of Frenchie to return as Valak's spirit is still probably like lurking inside of him. So then Irene will travel to the school in question if it's at a school where Frenchie will be and try to save him from this possession. The Nun 2 is still supposed to arrive in theaters next September in 2023. Are you glad Tice for Amiga will be back? Do you not care? What improvements do you want to see from The Nun 2? I actually also just learned that this movie apparently has the highest grossing uh, revenue box office wise from The Conjuring Universe. And I was shocked to know that. But if that info is false, then just correct me down in the comment section below because that completely caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting that. Are you excited for any of these movies? Let me know down in the comment section below. What of these new updates was your favorite? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.